Hi everyone, my name is Janae Tate and welcome to Can We Talk? It is a review segment from Hilo News where we talk about movies, TV shows, and hot topics and everything in between. So, can we talk? <laughs> Let's just get right into it. Today, I want to talk about the Jill Scott and Erica Badu versus. It was, it was everything. I enjoyed that battle so much. And I just call it battle for lack of better words because it really wasn't a battle. It was a coming together of soul, heart, love, just feel goodness, like if that's even a word, but it just was so good. And I feel like, especially right now, in the midst of COVID-19, coronavirus, the pandemic, quarantine, like we needed that energy in our lives in that moment. For me, I'm a Baidu super fan, like super duper, super duper fan. Like everything she's ever recorded, done heard it, know the words, know the lyrics for it and backwards. Like love it, love, love Erica Baidu. Like I was introduced to her in 1997 when she was winning all those awards at the Lady of Soul award show. Um, Soul Train used to do it back in the day. And I remember wrapping my head with my mama towels and putting the sheets around my body and just like going through the house saying, oh, no, you know, just, just want to be this lady. I just thought she was so beautiful and amazing and so new. And it was something I had never heard before. I never saw anybody like her before. And just something in my spirit just instantly connected with this woman. And so since 1997, since on and on, since the video of her remaking um, Color Purple, like I just been, whatever she's selling, I'm buying it, whatever. I don't seen her countless times live. The only thing I haven't done yet, putting it in the universe is meet her. I would love that, like to get me an in-person picture and just be like, hey girl, I love you. That would be so dope. So to see her, and Jill, who was also in my top five of all time artists, got, is it the way, all, everything. Jill Scott is just amazing. So to see them in my house, like one-on-one -on -one with me, that was like so personal for me. That that felt so good to me. And for me, because if anything from the Babyface and Teddy Riley versus taught us is you need to have a backup device because the people were gonna come and they showed up in 750 thousand people tuned in and I was like I know Instagram live be with the shits so let me make sure I have this on multiple devices so I had a, a tablet my laptop we screened it to the uh, TV I had my phone I was just making sure I did not get kicked out of this party because I've waited forever to see something like this and the vibe that they were on um I just felt like a lot of people said this on Twitter and I really really feel this. it was just like healing it was feeling uh it just felt like gratitude I the it was just a vibe that was just set for the like it made my whole weekend like literally whatever I was feeling about work about coronavirus about anything like it literally was reset that day like I feel I felt reborn in a sense like it, I just felt really good and I think that's the power of music you know like if a good artist, somebody that you relate to, somebody that you love can really change your mood, can change your set, can, can change your mindset, your motivation in that in that moment. And the the catalog of these two women, like it will take you there. Like for me, Erica and Jill have songs that I listen to when I'm in love and I first meet somebody and I'm in my feelings. Um, of course, the way from Jill Scott and, and Erica Badu, my favorite song from her of all times, I Want You. Like, those songs make me feel in love. Then, you know, if I'm going through a breakup, they got those songs. You know, when you happy, when you need motivation. What I love about them, too, that a lot of R&B artists don't do, like, they have a lot of self-care and self-love in, like, black consciousness type of songs where you, like, are proud to be black or proud to be a woman or when you need some pick-me-ups to say, hey... I love me. I need me right now. Like, yeah, I am the shit. Like, they have those songs that make you feel that way. And I, I, that's what I love about Neo Soul and those artists. And Versus really gave that to the, the world on Saturday. And I'm so happy that people who may not be fans of them got a chance to see them, got to see their work, some of their best songs, some of their B-side stuff. And they were able to see what us fans have known all along, that they were going to be dope and they're queens and they're everything. Um, so yeah, Erica Badu, Jill Scott, y'all don't owe me shit. Y'all don't owe me nothing. Like really take my money here. 
I'm already buying my tickets for the Sugar Water 2 uh, returns to it. I hope they do it. Queen Latifah, I hope you do it because really to see that in person and live would be everything. And at the time when Sugar Water came out, I was too young to go and I wasn't, you know, my mom wasn't buying me concert tickets. So for me to see that now and really appreciate that, to go with my man and we be, you know, two-stepping all day, all night with a nice little drink and a sundress and a, you know, festival setting once Corona... <coughs> is gone um i'd be so happy to do that and i hope that you guys really enjoyed the verses as much as i did it was everything nothing bad no hiccups it, well you know what there was a hiccup with erica about to do i take that back but even still jill kept it going that was just so queen like of her like i just i loved it so much and i hope you guys did too so drop down in the comments. Let me know what your favorite part of the vote versus show was, what your favorite songs are from Erica Badu and Jill Scott. And also, welcome to our page. This is High Low News. We're gonna be bringing you some video content, things that you wanna know and talk about. Um, we're based in South Florida, so a lot of our news is gonna be based there. But we're gonna also talk about national topics too. So make sure you like and subscribe, hit that button, hit the bell, and we, we look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you.